Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And today we're gonna to make these super cute little custom fabric bracelets. This is also a quick five minute craft. It's a beginner level, super easy. So this is something that anybody can do. But they make super cute party favors or gifts for any occasion. I have my fabric right here. This fabric's kind of old, so I'm not sure I'll be able to link this exact fabric, but I will link some fabric options. But as far as the alphabet beads that I'm gonna be using, um, loops, things like that. I will try to link specifically the exact things I used in the description below this video. So if you're looking for specific links to supplies, always check the description below my videos. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna cut about 18 inches in length. So we kind of want like an 18 inch by one inch strip. So I'm gonna do, my girls all like kind of different colors and so I'm gonna kind of cut it up in a way that's this a color for this person, a stripe of color for this person, and do it kind of like that. It does not need to be perfectly straight. I am not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing. It helps that this fabric kind of already has stripes. I do want the length to be fairly close. It does not to be exactly 18 inches, but fairly close. This one gets a little bit wider at this end, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do kind of a more pinky. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Like I said, these do not have to be exact at all. We're gonna go back and fray the edges actually, so it doesn't really matter exactly how straight the line is. Just roughly an inch or so, it could be a little bit less, a little bit more, by about 18 inches. I'm gonna move that off to the side. This purple is a little bit thicker than the other ones. And so to fray it, you're gonna kind of use your fingernails to grab some of the threads. Hopefully you can see that. You kind of grab some of the threads at the end and start pulling like this, and it will fray down. Even the fraying does not have to be perfect, not exact. Since it wasn't cut perfect, it's not gonna like fray perfectly all the way down, that's okay. Do the other side. Sometimes when you pull the fray really fast, it'll kind of do this where it puckers, and so you can just yank the fabric and straighten it back out. If you have anywhere like right here, it's definitely a little bit wider at this end, so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit more. So it's a little bit more even. The fraying part does make a little bit of a mess with all of these little extra ends. So sometimes when you're fraying, it'll kind of, there'll be really long strings, and so we're gonna end up just like trimming those. So you can trim them now or later. I'm gonna move my other pieces to the side so we don't make too much of a mess. If there's a spot like this, this barely has any fraying, go ahead and pick that specific little spot and kind of get a little bit more of the fraying going. So we're gonna go ahead and make one all the way just so we can see the overall idea of it. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna trim the little extra frayed pieces that are really long. Trim them kind of off. So I have my one little strip. That looks perfect for now. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of try to wad up the end and put these alphabet letters right on here. And so I have my letters already picked out. Kind of wad up the end as much as I can. It's gonna be really hard to get the fabric in the letter. So I'm gonna try to wad it up and get it started in the hole and then use a toothpick to kind of cram it through. Now, of course, you can try to thread it um, and some kind of needle, like a thicker needle and do it. But I know a lot of you don't have needles with an eye big enough to do that. And so I wanted something that is maybe something everybody has. So start by taking the fabric, twisting the end to as much of a point as you can and kind of get it started. And once it's kind of started going through the hole, you're gonna use a toothpick to push it through all the way. And then it goes through. It's really not hard. It's just a little bit, it would be really hard to do it without something like a toothpick. With a toothpick, it's actually pretty easy. I know it's not like a typical crafting supply, but hopefully you have a toothpick or something like it without having to buy some extra needles or something that you might not use again. I brought some needles out just in case we had to get to the point of 
using needles, but was really hoping that the toothpick would do a good job for us. And sure enough, it did. Okay, we're almost done. Now, obviously, you don't have to do names. You could do any cute word, um, you know, a phrase or something like that. If it's like for a you know, school, you could do HHS or, or whatever the little letters are. Okay, so I have the name all on there. So since this fabric is a little bit shy of 18 inches, it's about 17 inches, we know that the name will be about at the eight and a half inch mark if it's centered. So it should be about centered right there. So I wanna put a knot on each side of the name. So I have a knot at about the eight inch mark. And so I'm gonna slide the alphabet letters down a little bit. I know I'm trying to do a knot about right here. As I'm tightening it, I'm gonna make sure I'm about eight inches in. Okay, keep pulling it that way. Does not to be exact because we have a little bit of extra wiggle room to play with. If you're making this for an adult, you obviously can cut it longer than 18 inches. You could do 24 inches or whatever. Okay, so just like that. Now, with the charm, I'm kind of thinking about doing like a little star charm hanging in this knot. So let's try that. So I have these little stars that are really cute. I also have, oh, I forgot. I did think about doing these hearts. Let me see what these hearts look like. I have these little hearts that have all different colors. I didn't know if there was one that coordinated. My daughter Macy does not like the bright pinks, and so I'm trying to see. She does kind of like blue, and I don't know if it'd be cute to mix match the color. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Maybe I'll mix match it and do it like that. Okay, let's do gold, actually. So if we're doing gold, I'll need gold loops. Okay, and I have my little jewelry pliers, and so I'm gonna open up this little container. I think I'm gonna try the middle size loop. If it looks too big, we can always take it off and try it again. So we're gonna go ahead and open the loop up. Just putting a loop, these little charms come without loops on them, so I'm just putting a little loop on it like this. I'm just closing it back. Okay, that's good. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and slide it on this side. So we kind of gotta wad up the fabric again. I'm gonna slide it. Okay, I have the little charm on there. I'm gonna slide it all the way next to the letter. You could just slide it next to the letters like this, or you could try to actually kind of loop it on the knot. Um, I think it's gonna be kind of hard to do it on the knot, so I'm gonna see how it looks if I just kind of have it next to the letter in between that last letter and the knot. So let's see. Oh yeah, I think that looks plenty cute. That way it still dangles, so when it's on there, it kind of dangles like this. Then there's like a little charm, and then you'll tie this in a knot or a little bow back here, and that'll look super cute. Okay, so she's gonna love that. So let me go ahead and go on to the next one, and whip the next one up real fast, and keep going. So obviously you can customize these totally by what uh, alphabet beads you use, by what fabrics you're using. I'll link some different fabric options on Amazon. You can actually get kind of smaller strips like this, so maybe a bundle of you know 10 different strips that are thinner. They're thicker than this. They're maybe two inches thick and you'll have to cut them in half. But that way you could get kind of a bundle. Of course, you could go to Hobby Lobby and pick out your own fabrics or Joann's or whatever um, fabric store you have near you. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim up the ends. I forgot to do the ends of Ellie's and kind of fray it like this. Trim off the end that we kind of squished with the toothpick. It's it kind of weird. So go ahead and trim that up, fray it. And they are ready to go. And like I said, these are for children. So if you want to do it for an adult, you might want to cut the fabric to more like 24 inches instead of 18 inches. Okay, friends, so that's it. They were so quick and easy to make. Super fun. Honestly, the longest part was picking out which charms I wanted to use. But they're so fun. I love how they turned out. And I know my girls are going to love them. 
Don't forget, I will link all the supplies I'm using in the description below this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye! She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows it. She's crafty and she knows. She's crafty and she knows. It.